Hey everybody, this is Rustin from Fun Fact Films, and a few days ago the first teaser trailer dropped for the new Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers movie, and I'm definitely excited about it because of the potential that I see in the trailer, but I also have a lot of fears about how this movie might be a bomb. As far as the story goes, it looks like it's going to be a Ready Player One type movie with a mashup of a bunch of Disney properties telling a meta story with a bunch of self-referential humor. It seems that in this universe, the Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers show actually existed, to now where they're down in the dumps and then apparently someone goes missing, which I'm assuming is Gadget because she only shows up very briefly and then we never see her again in the trailer. First to get into what I like about the trailer, it's hard to ignore the huge nostalgia factor that this movie has going into it. I'm an older millennial, so the Disney afternoon cartoons like Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers were my jam as a kid. So of course it tickles my nostalgia strings to have a movie like this come back where it reminds me of those cool shows. As many as you know about my video essay from Roger Rabbit, I'm a huge hybrid animation fan, so I'm really excited to see that there's going to be a bunch of it in this movie. Trailers like this are always really exciting about all the Easter eggs, like Paul Abdul and the cat from the Opposites Track video. I'm a tap dancer, so I watched that video a ton because of the tap dance sequence they did, so it's personally exciting for me to see them come back. And there's a ton of other references, like from Jurassic Park, the Cats movie, and also the Uncanny Valley animation from the 2000s that was way too creepy. And it also piqued my interest that they included Warner Brothers properties, like DC character cosplayers, and also a woman wearing a Batman t-shirt. So perhaps they might have some non-Disney characters featured in this movie too, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But what I don't like about the movie based on this trailer is that Chip and Dale's voices don't have a high pitch. And maybe this is all part of the story, that the high pitched voices are just their acting persona when they're on screen, and when they're off screen they have these lower pitched voices. So hopefully that plays a part in the movie somehow, but at the onset early in the trailer when Chip uses a low pitched voice I was really disappointed. I'm cautiously optimistic about the Ready Player One vibe that this trailer gives off. It's exciting that they have all these different Disney properties in there and the possibility of non-Disney properties, but where Ready Player One succeeded, Space Jam 2 failed, so just because you have different properties in your movie doesn't make it a good one. As I said earlier, I'm excited about the hybrid animation, but I'm also very cautious because Tom and Jerry was a huge flop. The trailers for Tom and Jerry made it look like those characters would be the stars of the show, but then they actually weren't so I'm afraid that we'll get the same bait and switch with this movie. And another thing that makes me nervous is that it's going to be released straight to Disney+. Plus. It's kind of funny how that has become a marker of judgment for a streaming platform, that if a movie is released behind a paywall on a streaming service that that somehow makes it better. But it does give a different impression when the movie is given away for free so to speak on streaming platforms without a theatrical release or releasing it behind a paywall. But are you excited for the movie or not? Let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to check out other great content from the channel right here on Fun Fact Films.